we'll uh, we'll try that this uh, this next round. Probably shouldn't do that on offensive, but when we go back to defensive, I'll try out. I'll try out the spy again. TF2's fan says, "Good game, thank you." I agree. Uh, our team did good. I maybe not so much, but it was fun. All right, we'll try. Oh wait, we're on defensive. Great, we can try the spy thing like Danella suggested. Okay, we'll try going pyro because that's usually a fairly decent disguise. Um, because the pyro and the spy are about the same speed. Uh, Scott Neonix. My Steam is Scott C O T F two and add to you, friend. Okay, cool. Well, welcome to the stream, uh, Scott. Um, appreciate uh, appreciate you tuning in. So uh, thanks for thanks for checking us out. Alrighty. So I'm. Oh, okay. So it's the pre-round. Okay. So that medic saw me. I thought they would all be in there with a lot. Their hidey hole, or whatever the heck you want to call it, because I wasn't paying attention, noticing it's the pre-round. I just thought it was like the setup time. So I guess not. Oh, a blue spy backstabbed me. Well, that's uh, that's funny. But I mean, I did just decloak right in front of him. All right, boys, I am actually going to switch to the uh, cloak and dagger. That way, I can uh, I can just stand still and have an uh, infinite. Uh, cloaking ability, so I will switch to that. That's usually what I use. I know that's kind of a controversial decision, but that's what I like to use, and that's usually what I do best with when I'm playing the spy. Alright, so we're gonna go over here, we're gonna set up. Thank you, medic. We're gonna sneak up here. We're gonna go invisible and sneak up here where they can't see me, and I'll drop down and start backstabbing when they come out. Let's drop down, we'll start backstabbing them. They won't know what hit them, boys. They'll be so, uh... They'll be so, um... They'll be so, uh... Confused and so, uh... Mixed up, they won't know why. Uh, they won't know what hit them. So, it'll, that'll be cool. Alright. Scott Neonix, hey, donate you. Oh, you are uh, want to donate to me? Well, the link is down in the description, and that is really, really nice of you. I would very much appreciate that. That would really help keep me going, so thank you. Thank you, Scott. That's uh, very nice of you. Danello. Hey, dude, but try to act like you're one of them. Right. Act like I'm one of them. Act like... Don't be walking backwards, because that looks like suspicious. Oh, dang, that scout got totally sniped. But yeah, look like I'm one of them. That's a good call. Uh-oh. There, uh, there was one of their spies. You see that? He was also disguised as the power. He knows I'm here. Okay. Well, dang. Well, I'm going to uh, backstab him then when he tries to backstab my little heavy friend. That's what I'll do. There's a spy on the stairs. Up at the telly. Dang it. How'd he get me? How'd he get me, boys? Did he backstab me or something? Like, how was that possible? Well, the, uh, the sentry killed him, so I won't complain too much. Um, Danello, yeah, I'm sorry. You, that, I know that was a bad, a bad spy move. Um... Find the dumbest players who does not know his surroundings. Okay, uh, we'll, uh, I will try. I will give that a shot. We'll see what uh, what we can do. Ex excuse me, excuse me. I need to use the teleporter. I'm a spy. I, I rank over soldier. Oh come on, level one. Seriously, NG. Eh, well, no sweat to the NGs. They gotta keep their sentries up. All right, cloaking, and we will move. Uh oh, there's that spy again. He needs to be taken out. I don't know if I could hit him. That would be helpful. Here, we'll have a little knife fight, buddy. Here, get back in here, boy. Get back in here. Get back here. Oh, he's he's, he's dancing all around me. He knows his stuff. Oh, he's trying to he's trying to get the drop on me. He's trying to backstab me. Dang it! Oh, he just pulled out his gun. Oh, what the heck? Bang! Okay. There is a spy who keeps disguising as pyro, so watch out for red pyros. Okay, right. Scott Neonix, what your nickname in Steam call gaming? My nickname in Steam is Cascarte de Utica. It's the same name I use uh, on this channel. Um, you likes TF2. Oh, he says my subscriber is 43. Hey, 43 is not bad. Everybody's got to start somewhere, mate. It's that way with levels, it's that way with subscribers, it's that way with everything, really. All right. And the uh, skies is power. Excuse me. Excuse me, Heavy. This is my teleporter. Thank you. Yeah, serves you right. All right. What you get. Okay. I need this health kit. Like, right now. Um. Danello Angelo says, Do you know 
ripped yeah, away. Do you know the way? Probably, so, like, uh, hey, probably not. And, like, Obviously, I don't know the way because Please? I'm a terrible spy, but Hell I'll, I'll learn it. Spy, okay. Out. Uh, Neo next, do you know the way? Don't know what the way is, but, uh... I probably don't know it. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's a spy. I was right. It is. It's that same one. Uh, spy check Devil Man because he disguises one. Spy is uh, Pyro. Watch out. Okay, he keeps going the same class over and over. All right, so the card's back in there. So uh, what we'll do is we'll decloak real quick and we'll go back over here and try to push this cart. We should go around the corner and we'll go invisible again. No idea. Oh, nice. The engineer got him. Very nice. Smart engineer, very. You know what weapon Okay, is? blue spray is new pistol. Don't know what that means, but uh, okay. Cool. Cool, my mate. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Um, let's see if we can uh, keep playing it now. This I is possibly disguising as heavy. Right. Watch out. I'm going to disguise as medic. Because then they'll turn for me to, for support and get the exact opposite. Uh, Mr. Basher 43, the NG update will occur 77 years from now due to Valve's laziness. XD. XD, my mate. I know I'm just saying it instead of typing it because that's easier, but you are so right. Yes. Finally killed a fool. Killed a fool. You proud of me yet, Danella? Yeah, but no, you're right. The engineer update will probably it's, uh, take forever. I, I don't I don't know necessarily know if it's Valve's laziness, per se. It's just well, Valve isn't really in the business of making games anymore. Now they just want to make money from Steam, but they just keep up the games they've got, like Counter Strike. Um, they made some good games. Like back when they were a game developer, they actually made like some really good games. Like I'm not gonna lie, they've actually like made very well made games. But you're right, they don't they don't really do that anymore. They don't really work on it. Oh dang. Okay, boys, we got like three seconds. They're, they're not even get it to the first point. Nice job on the defense, boys. They didn't even get it to the first point. Very nice. All right, boys. Good, uh, good nice round. Job, oh, everybody. that's a spy. My bad. <clears throat> totally uh, missed it. Mr. Basher says nice. Thank you. Uh, Scott says me not from Rosia. I from Poland. I love TF2. That's cool, man. I'm glad you like TF2. Glad you enjoy the game. It's a uh, it's a good game, and uh, it's really fun to play. So we'll go we'll go heavy now that we're on the offensive side of things. Um, Danilo Angelo says, "Oh wow, in all caps, this must be important." OMG, I forgot. Dang it, I should have played TF2 so that I would be in your live. Ah, uh, yeah, that would be uh, that would be cool. That would be cool if you were in the live. Um, Mr. Bash, you're 43. Me from America. Cool, cool on you, mate. Good to hear you're a homeboy. Scott Neo Nick says, Call am speaking English Polish Rosia. Good game, my friend. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate that. Appreciate that you're uh, that you join it and you're enjoying the stream. If Gabe Newell dies, who takes over his place? I actually don't know. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat's a little dry. Four, three, two. It comes from talking so much, I might have to get a drink later to refill my glass. Uh, take a break to refill my glass. Excuse me. Movie, quit dancing. We don't need no dancing hoops. Get out of here. Okay, but seriously, um, I don't know who takes over his place. Um, so Gabe Newell is the chief executive officer of Steam. I, I don't think that, uh, not Steam, Valve. My mistake. I'll think that Valve is a public company. I think it's privately owned. So what would happen? As when he takes over, the vice president would take over his place as president of the company. I'm pretty sure the board of directors spy, spy, spy. would um, elect a new chief executive officer. But I guess I don't know what happened to the stock. He'd probably he'd probably leave it to his kids or or whatever. When will you play t MVM? Uh, asked TF2's fans. Okay, so we've got a uh, dang. Their sniper is something else, mate. Oh yeah, he's really up there. Okay. Sorry, boys. I know I'm. Uh, I know I'm not playing too good right now. We'll uh, we'll keep trying though. I'm gonna go out this door though to avoid the sniper. Now, TF2's fan says, "When will you play MVM?" So we're in ca we're playing casual mode right now. I think there's a spy on here somewhere. So we're playing casual mode and we're trying to get to level 150, 150, and we're at level 131 now. Once I get to level 150, the, the casual mode part of the Rise to the Top series for Team Fortress 2 will be completed. Okay. 
And so once that is done, we'll quit playing um, casual mode. And I want to try competitive mode. And if I can play competitive mode, that would be great. If not, then, um, then we will move right to MVM after that. Uh, what do we have here? We have a little alert on the screen. Just gonna pull that up. Just heard the little bell noise. It's going on. Wait for it to show up. Mr. Basher 43 just subscribed. Thank you, Mr. Basher. Rise to the top, my mate. Welcome to the community. Really glad to have you aboard. Thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate that. Glad you, uh, glad you really like the content. Uh, hey, uh, love to get it out for you, uh, for you guys. So, uh, anyway, so, um, if we can play, um, competitive mode, depending on how long it takes to load into games, because for a while there, it took, like, over half an hour to load into the game, like, 40 plus minutes, and if it still takes a really long time, then we will, we won't play competitive mode, because it's just not feasible at that point. If so, we'll move to, uh, MVM, and we'll do one tour of duty each, for all the different tours, if we, uh, if competitive mode does work, we'll do competitive first, and then we'll move on to MVM. Okay. Danello Angelo says, If Kim Jong-un is fat, his chair will fall 20 feet deep. Okay. Uh, interesting way of looking at things, but uh, I'll take it. That's cool. Um, let's see. I'm trying to read off the chat. Let's see what it says. Uh, oops, sorry, not Kim Jong Un. If Gabe Newall is fat, <laughs> oh gosh, um, he was pretty hefty back in his day. I think he's lost a little bit of weight as he's gotten older. Let Excuse me. I, I want my, t I want my teleporter, mate. Get off my teleporter. This is my teleporter. Get off of this. This is mine. This is mine. Get off. Get off. That, that's my teleporter, boy. Don't be taking my teleporter. Said, Let the heavy take the first Thank you. Because, um, Thank you, Pyro. Thank you, I'm a carky. Oh, seriously? I was waiting all that time and it got and it got sapped. You know what? To the heck with you, spy. <laughs> okay. Your game to all spat. Sorry I said that. Well, I'll I well got to go. Gonna go to bed. Okay, thank you for tuning in, De Danello. Uh really appreciate you being here. Hope to see you around soon. Have a good sleep. Mr. Basher 43, Valve can't count to three. <laughs> oh gosh, we got uh, we got a lot of people who are not uh, not Valve fans right now. Okay then. Oh, I mean that's cool. Um, yeah, I mean Valve did make some good games back in their day, but they they um, they haven't really been on uh, on top of it because you know they mainly just want to make Steam. I thought I was standing next to the car. How come that's I didn't get any more so health? Great. But yeah, mainly they just update their their current games like. Team Fortress 2 and Counter-Strike Global Offensive are really mainly just the only games they actually update or work on much anymore. I was glad that they are uh, making a second Source engine though. Hopefully they'll make some good games to come out on those. TF2's fan says, bye, I will be back after half an hour. Alright, cool mate, thanks uh, Thanks for tuning in, hope to see you later. The stream will be ending at 10 a.m. But, uh, but uh, you probably will be back by then, but if not, that's okay too. Uh, we'll be streaming again on uh, Monday first thing Monday morning so hope to see you there thank you for uh, thanks for dropping in mate alrighty so we got five viewers on YouTube and one viewer on Twitch is what my second monitor tells me welcome all of you to the stream I appreciate you tuning in we've gotten uh, we've gotten a good amount of viewers today and it's really cool to see that the uh, the stream is growing that uh, the channel's growing that you boys are Becoming members of the community. Really glad to have you all here. And I uh, really enjoy playing and work and doing this series for you boys. It's really it's really fun. I've really had a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of fun with it. Really glad to see you boys here too. Alrighty. Oh hey, a new alert. What do we have here? A new item? Cool, this is like the third one this morning. Pretty boys, pocket pistol. Well, I'm a pretty boy. I'm kidding. But uh, but I am gonna take that because that's cool. Oh, a spy. Oh dang, he had like his pistol. I don't think he's quite dead though. Yep, see? See? There he was. He came back to life. He shot me. He wasn't really dead. He was only mostly dead. <laughs> oh, that meme is so overused. I'm sorry. Mr. Basher 43? Wait a minute. He says, Breaking news. Valve comes out with a new hit. Despot... Despacito? Despacito 2, Episode 4. Episode 3. 
I, I don't think I've ever heard of that game. Was that a game they made? Was that like a crime game with Despaccio? That sounds like a convict or something. And I'm probably not pronouncing that right. But, uh, but that would be cool if they did. Like, Valve is, in my personal opinion, Valve is definitely one of the better game developers. Like, when they actually made games, they made some really well-made games. And, of course, I go flying. Yeah, my, uh, my wife was body flopping. Falls down with a crashing noise, because, you know, the heavy is fairly nice push, boys. large. All right, we got this, mates. We can do this. We held him out on defense. We can hold him out on offense. We got seven minutes to go, boys. I think we can do this. Mm, my nose is just... I'll scratch it here in a second, but uh, not right now because we're trying to uh, we're trying to rise. Rise to the top, all that jazz. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay. I'm the only uh, heavy player, actually. Better, uh, better focus and get my act together. But, um, mm, oh, my nose, it really did itch. Um, but yes, uh, Mr. Basher43 says, no, it's a joke. The Spazio is a song. Oh, okay. I see. That, that makes sense. Okay. But yeah, but anyway, Valve is, uh, in my opinion, one of the better developers of games. They made like, so many good games. They made uh, they made Counter-Strike, which was originally a mod. They made Half-Life, which was a really good game. I haven't played that yet. We actually will, at some point in the very distant future, be doing a Half-Life uh, Let's Play. So I hope you boys are, I hope you boys look forward to that, too. Um, we've got a lot of good stuff coming to the channel. But yeah, they made Counter-Strike. Um, they made Portal, right? Don't forget Portal. Uh, wasn't there a third thing? All right, I'm sorry, fourth thing. Isn't there a fourth game that I'm forgetting? But those are the four big ones. Counter-Strike, Team Fortress, Portal, and Half-Life. But I think there was a fifth one. Please add me for friends. Steam. My nickname on Steam is Admin Scottio Neonix. Please add me friends on the Steam. Uh, Scott, uh, if you will send me a friend request, I will add you. It will be after the stream is over. But uh, if you want to send me a friend request, that's cool. Uh, my profile, my Steam profile, a link to it should be in the channel description. Alrighty. Uh, you know when your next live stream is. Yes, Mr. Basher 43 I live stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, uh, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So, next live stream will be this Monday. It'll be in the morning. Just like today. So, uh, if you want to tune in there, love to, ha love to see you there. Alright, so we got five people watching. We got a pretty good number of, uh, of people here, and I'm really glad to see you all here. So, uh, if any of you are just tuning in, this is Rise to the Top Live, and we're playing Team Fortress 2. Doing a Let's Play walkthrough. Oh, dang. Sentry. Trying to get our, uh, trying to get our level up. And, uh, I'd say we're doing a pretty good job. Just in this whole mor just in this one morning, we've gotten our, uh, ooh, that ninja's gonna die today, boys. Um, but yeah, just in this one morning, we've gotten our, our level up to, uh, to level 1. 41 and a half from right near at the beginning of level 141. So yeah, that's hey, super you know, exciting. We're really glad about that. Oh dear, there was a soldier there. I wasn't paying attention. Quit eating your sandwich and kill the darn soldier. I was right next to the real health kit too, darn it. And that is why you should not eat, um, eat, uh, sandwiches when you're so close to the enemies, boys. Alrighty. Teleport entrance by Jordan B. Peterson. Oh, you had to name your teleport after yourself. That's a little bit, uh, that's a little bit egotistic, but I'll take, I'll take it. Oh, dang. Oh, no, get undominated, fool. Medica, you're gonna have to run away, boy. You got no one to heal you. Or, no one to heal. You got no purpose anymore, mate. I'm sorry. It's a sad world. It is. It's a, it's a sad world, after all. Yeah, but not for me. Oh, not for me. Alrighty. Come on, mates, we can do it. I know we can. I know we can get that, uh, that cart back down there. Dang it, another soldier dominating me. All right, we're not having any of this, boys. Look at that. Look at that. Look, just look at it. We're in third place now. We are in um, the MVP right now. So we got to really step on it. We got to push that cart. We got to be the winners. Otherwise, we won't be MVP, and we just can't have that. All right, teleporter. Three by Jordan B. Peterson. Yes, yes. Why don't we just have a sign everywhere that says this and that by Jordan B. Peterson? Ooh, look, Cracky Pop. I could, I could go for a bottle of Cracky Pop right now. What about you, boys? Do you go for a bottle, a nice, cold, refreshing bottle of Cracky Pop? 
Mr. Basher 43, man, I remember TF2 without hats. Really? Now that was before my time, mate. I only started playing this game about, I don't know, year and a half ago maybe? Year and a quarter? So I actually don't even remember what it was like before the man first, uh, not man first machine, before the uh, meet your match update, like when it was just community servers and stuff. I don't even remember what it was like then. So, I'm yeah, but some of this. these games, some people played this game a lot longer than I have. It's been around for 11 and something years. But yeah, hats is definitely the way they monetize it now. I don't really mind that they monetize it with cosmetic items, honestly, because since it does help to pay for the, uh, for the updates and such, so I don't really mind that too much. I'm not really, uh, a, uh, I'm not really against the whole cosmetic, uh, microtransactions as long as that doesn't really affect gameplay. But, uh, but then again, some of the prices for those hats is ridiculous. I believe, um, I believe one of the world records, um, is actually on a hat sold for Team Fortress 2. So it was like this burning, it was like this, uh, it was like this reporter's hat. It was like a journalist hat for the scout, right? Or maybe, no, it wasn't just for the scout. I think you could wear it on main one. But the person who got it, he had, had like a picture of himself wearing it for the scout. But, um, he bought it for $12,000. $12,000, mate, for a single hat. Oh, and it was a, it was the journal hat, and it was on fire. It was a flaming, um, news reporter hat, or... I don't remember the exact name of it. I'd have to look it up. A quick charge. But, um, but yeah, it was crazy. Like, 14... No, I'm sorry, excuse me. $12,000 for a single TF2 hat. Can you, can you imagine that? I, I'm sorry. I just have a hard time imagining that. Like, I mean, that's cool and all. On, I mean, you must have been a big fan years. of the game. But, uh... But there's only one in existence, so I, mean, I guess that does help make it valuable. But even just some of the regular kill streak, uh, not kill streak. What are they called? Just the, some of the unusual hats that are like really expensive. Like some of them are, like, you know, eighty bucks for for one hat. That's that's a lot of money. But it is a free to play game, and the hats do help uh, make money for it. So so that is cool. And it's a lot better than them like them selling uh, weapons that give you like a, an advantage so I won't knock him too much for that. Darn it! The spy got me. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh dang we're, we're moving down the leaderboard too. No 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 no. We gotta get some points. We gotta get that score back up. Alright we don't have a pyro and I think we could really use one so I'm gonna see what I can do pyro wise. Like we do need a heavy too but we've got a heavy for one already. And uh, I think, and what I'm doing don't seem to be working out too well. Okay, so we got a spy right here. So, yeah, he's gonna die. You're dead. Uh, I'm dead too, but uh, I'm hiding, so they can't find me. So I'm good. I'm good. Oh, yeah, I think to sell that for keys is for 12,000 near there, I think. Yeah, it was sold, uh, it was sold for keys. $12,000 worth of keys, which I think is like, isn't a key worth like around two bucks? Isn't that like 6,000 keys or something? It's a lot. It's a lot of them. Nice. We finally made it to uh, halfway through level 131, boys. Alrighty. That is great. That is awesome. 